Hello, hello, and we are at the 17th day of October 2015. Today the solar noon was at uh, 13.45 Central European time, so just about 10 minutes ago we hit solar noon. I'm trying out this new nifty program it's called MPP Solar Patrol. Peter Matthews made a video about this this program uh, maybe three weeks or four weeks ago. I have been very busy and so it took me a while to get installed and doing things. I have finally gotten this uh, RS-232 to USB connector here, this converter, converter. So now I'm repurposing this laptop, it has a broken screen there, but at least now it's doing something. It was just sitting gathering dust here. And I think it doesn't use any more than 50 watts when it's running. So it's very energy efficient. And uh, I'll, let, I'll let this program run for a few days and I want to really see what are my total solar energy, my total energy used used during the days because right now I just have an estimate that I can use 10 to 15 kilowatt hours depending on the day sorry about the video not focusing too well there so this program has very has a very nice feature here. It's called, there's a timer feature. How do I get over there? Yeah. This timer feature. A timer, there you go, timer. So this is very interesting for, I know you the people in South Africa have load shedding, shedding, I think you call it. So you can actually enable a timer. And... Can enable a timer and you can change you can change it from battery to utility or I guess in South Africa you would change from utility to battery or solar and it can do this daily or whatever days of the week you pick I have seen Peter Matthews using this feature and it seems to work pretty well. Anyways, a little more of this here. And it basically shows almost the same parameters that uh that uh watch power shows you, AC voltage that's line voltage ac frequency pv voltage pv input voltage we know that uh pv input current is actually the battery charging current not the not it's not the 83 times 9 otherwise it wouldn't make sense because right now the solar wattage is only 200 20 watts there are a few clouds outside I guess we're cloud edging right now but uh this is actually 
has two voltages there. Um, 473 and the voltage, the battery voltage inside those brackets. Actually, I have uh, the PIP 47.2, and so the PIP matches the voltage outside of those brackets 47.1, 47. .1, 47. I don't really know where this person gets the that second voltage from. Battery capacity, as we all know, it's based on the voltage, so it's not very accurate. As you can see right now, am I, that's my correct state of charge, 77%. What else this program can do? I think that's that's basically it, but um that's the future um, most interesting thing is to find out is to find out what's my total my total solar energy or at least how much the system puts out in AC voltage because I know it, can, it puts out anywhere between 12 and 15 kilowatt hours daily but I'm not sure anyways I'm already over six minutes going and going and going as you can see this old laptop it has 256 megabytes of RAM you know my new A new telephone there has three gigabytes of RAM and and one and a half gigahertz of CPU processing power. So as you can see this is from the early two thousands. But it was a very nice piece of machinery. I want to quickly go upstairs close the windows for a second because the birds seem to be a little loud outside but I just want to show you how the what's the noise in the pip all right maybe getting low voltage here as you can see the load is very high right now but uh, I'm gonna be quiet for a few seconds so you listen to the fence in the pip when it's running with a good good load you can barely notice notice it we'll go upstairs and show the water heater anyways first thing I wanted to show you is uh, change these plugs out from the water heater here I noticed it, I noticed them getting warm and they were they should have a very bad connection in there. It's the new plug. So put in a new timer. I think now you can s more or less see the water heater is from it's on from 10:30 to 12 p.m. and then from 1 to 4 p.m. So basically four and a half hours and after those four and a half hours I will have about six to seven and a half kilowatt hours of, of water, warm water, hot water. Thermostat is on. Anyways, 30 seconds I'll just show you how the day is today outside. Anyways, I have less than 30 seconds left now. Uh, it was a beautiful sunny morning. Now we have more and more clouds. Anyways, seem to have a regatta going on down there. Anyways, have a great solar weekend. Coming to you from Malaga. Southern Spain. Gustavo out. Thank you.